In this video, we are going to cover the section of the toolbar, ranging from the search for actors button, which looks like a little pair of binoculars here, over to the build all button. So let's start over here on the left with search for actors. What this will do is open up the search for actors dialog, which allows you to locate any specific actor in your level. But we actually have a separate video over how to use this. So for now, we'll go ahead and close that. To the right of this, we have the toggle full screen mode, which if I click it, it is going to give Unreal Ed all of your screen space. It'll get rid of the title bar and the Windows start bar, meaning that all you're going to see is Unreal Ed. We'll go ahead and toggle that back off. To the right of this, we have cut, copy, and paste, which uh, we can use just like you'd imagine. We can select an actor. We can cut it. We can uh, paste it. Or we could copy it, and we could paste it. However, if we paste it, it's going to be pasted in the same location because uh, part of its location is actually one of its uh, properties that becomes uh, copied with it. Just as a side note, if you wanted to copy something uh, like so and then paste it in a given location, you can right-click where you want it to be, and you can choose Paste Here, and it'll appear at that location. And we'll be talking about the right-click menu in another video. All right, to the right of this, we have the Open Generic Browser Window button, which will open up the browser window, from which you can select any of the browsers available to you in Unreal Ed via the tabs. For now, we'll go ahead and close that. To the right of this, we have Open Unreal Kismet, which will open the Kismet Editor, allowing you to see all of the visual scripting that is taking place in your level and edit those. We actually have a series of videos dedicated to working with Kismet and virtual, I'm sorry, visual scripting, not virtual scripting. Next to this, we have toggle brush polys, which is going to be most useful on any brush whose sides are invisible, such as this volume here. If I select this volume and toggle on uh, show brush polys, we can see those. So those are actually the polygons of that brush, and you can see where they're sticking through the geometry. Uh, as a side note, this also works with the red builder brush, which is hiding down here under my level. If I was to select this guy, and let me bring him up into the level where we can see him, and then I'll just make him into a default box. Now we can see the actual sides of the red builder brush. So just kind of a tip there. We'll go ahead and turn off toggle brush polys. Next to this, we have toggle prefab lock. Now this is something that was demonstrated over under the... Uh, over under, do you like that? As a, in the uh, view menu video, so this is a way for you to be able to expand a prefab so that you can select the various actors within it. Now, if this is depressed, you, can no, you cannot select the actors within a prefab. You can just select the prefab itself as if it were a whole unit. To the right of this, we have select to make distributions use the curves and not the baked lookup tables. Now, this is something that in order to explain, I've got to kind of branch away from, uh, from what we've been doing, which is kind of passing through our level, and I have to talk to you sort of... Uh, I guess conceptually for just a moment, and this is basically just to uh, explain to you that some effects inside of Unreal Ed, especially particle effects uh, among a few others, will use distributions, which are curves by which a property will change over time. It's an animation curve, basically is what it is. And by default, in order to save on processing power, Unreal will bake those curves out into lookup tables. So you can say, you know, at such and such time, the property will have this value, uh, maybe at one second it's going to have this property, at uh, two seconds it's going to have this value, at three seconds it'll have this value, and so on, as opposed to trying to interpolate along a smooth curve, which would take a lot more processing power. In essence, you can think of this like making the shift from higher-end calculus down to high school-level pre-algebra. But sometimes when you uh, use those lookup tables, you don't get the effect you're looking for. It actually gets so much more simplified that you don't see what it is you want. And so you can solve that by clicking on the uh, make distributions actually use the curves. You'll be using more processing power, but you'll have a closer representation to what the curves are actually right. doing. It seems like you would, uh, it's a kind of speed accuracy trade-off. With it turned on, you would use the actual curves and gain a lot of accuracy from those curves. With it off, you would use a pre-calculated table, but in the process you would sacrifice a bit of accuracy in favor of a faster lookup. That's right. Now next to this we have enable or disable socket snapping. This is not something I can readily demonstrate here in front of you, but if you have a skeletal mesh that has a socket, such as maybe a socket at its hand so that it can hold a weapon or some actor, this allows you to snap actors directly to that socket to make it easy to attach an actor directly to a, to a, uh, a skeletal mesh. 
Moving from here, we have the build buttons, and these are great. You're going to be using these a lot. First off, we have build geometry for current level. This is uh, just exactly like the build geometry feature, which was demonstrated under the build menu video. So this will just build your BSP geometry, which I've clicked, and we get a couple of uh, warnings when we click on that, but our BSP has been recalculated. We can build lighting, which I'm not going to click on because in this level it takes a little bit too long. We can build our bot paths in order to recalculate those and make sure that uh, they are positioned properly. Next to this, we have we can, uh, the ability to build cover nodes. Now, this is a button you're never going to use in Unreal Tournament 3. This is actually a feature that is part of Gears of War. If you've act ever played Gears of War, you might have seen that there is a cover system available in that game, but it doesn't exist inside of Unreal, so you can ignore this button altogether. And to the right of this, we have the Build All button, which will do all of the above, of course, except for cover nodes. So with that, that is all of the toolbar features that are available to you from the Search for Actors button over to Build All.